Well, the story I just told you is not true. However, if it was true, I know just how to fix it. Hey guys, I'm Saurav. Welcome to the channel. I'm so happy, so excited to see you. I am very excited for this year. I have a lot of ideas to execute. First, let me start with the story and this time a real one. You see this image right here? This was the first time when I captured the Milky Way and hence this image is always going to be special for me. I will never forget the experience. These little things that you see are actually fireflies. We were in the forest for the whole night and it was a magical experience. And I guess that is what makes photography so special. A picture is not just a picture for the photographer who has captured it. It is those memories, those experience and just much more than that. Long story short, I submitted this image in a photography competition. The image reached the final stage. For the finals, it was necessary to submit the raw file. Unfortunately, just before the competition, my old MacBook hard disk got crashed. I lost all my photos, all my videos, and this raw file was one of them. I was disqualified from the competition and I was extremely sad, not only because of the competition, but because I knew that I would never get back the raw file. The stupid mistake I did was not taking a backup. Since that day, I promised myself, whenever I shoot anything, I'm going to take a backup. If you don't take backups, make it your new year resolution and make sure you take them. But the thing about backups is your physical hard drives can also get crashed. At this point, if you think the story is going to take a positive turn and I'm somehow magically going to get back the file, that's not possible because Apple replaced the hard disk with a new one. I don't have the hard disk to recover those files, but I've made sure in case anything like this happens henceforth, I am prepared for it. How? That's what I'm going to show you in this video. I have been using a recovery software by Wondershare named Recoverit. Thank you Wondershare for sponsoring the video and supporting the channel. I'm taking a few photos of the watch that I bought as a pre-birthday gift and uh, let me also record a 8K video. I have all the photos and videos on my memory card but due to some reason, let's say I format it or my card gets corrupted. Now, when I open the memory card folder, it is empty. First step is uh, downloading and installing the software. It's pretty straightforward. You click on the link in the description below and click on download. The installing process is just like any other software. Takes hardly a minute and you're ready to use it. Open recover it, click on your memory card or any storage device that you're using and scan. It will first do a quick scan which will allow you to preview the files and recover them. But as you can see, the scan has not been completed yet. After a quick scan, the software is performing a deep scan which is looking for even more files that you can recover. I will select the files, the photos and the videos that I want to recover, set the destination folder and that's it. As simple as that. You can try the free version before you buy the premium version. The free version also allows you to recover files but the size limit is 100 megabytes of data which is enough for recovering few raw photos. But if you want to recover more photos, if you want to recover videos of higher sizes, you would need to try the premium version. The best thing about the premium version is there is no size limit. As you saw, I recovered an 8K video. I can recover multiple 8K videos within no time and have no problem with it. Recover it supports more than 2000 storage devices and 1000 file formats. So it doesn't matter what camera you're using, Nikon, Canon, Sony, any camera you're using, any type of memory card you're using, Recover it supports it and it's going to help you recover those deleted files. The question is, how do these recovery softwares exactly work? I mean, if the file is deleted, how are you able to recover it back? This is important to understand and uh, once I explain it, then you will understand why is it important to understand this particular thing. Hope I made sense. Basically, when you delete a file, the file actually is not deleted. The file is still present in that particular memory location, but you just can't access it. That is where softwares like recover it comes into the picture. It can get access to those files and recover them. But very important, if at this particular location, a new data overwrites it, then there is no chance to get that data back. Why was it important to understand? Because let's say you take an image, you delete it, you will be able to recover it. But if there's an another file that gets stored where this image was stored before, it basically overwrites that particular image and you can't do anything. 
Sometimes you might be able to see the videos on your memory card, but when you play them, you realize the videos are corrupted. Now imagine you're shooting for a client and you see all the videos are present in your memory card. You take backups, but if the video is corrupted in the first place, taking backup is not going to help. The good news is the software recover it will not only help you to recover those video files, but can also repair them. You might be a photographer, videographer, or a content creator. And if you're any one of them, you would know how important data is. We take so much effort to shoot photos and videos, but due to some reason, the memory card gets corrupted. You format the memory card, all your efforts are in vain. Data loss is the last thing that we would want. I have had a lot of hard drives that got crashed and I lost all my photos and videos. I did not know anything about recovery softwares back then. Had I known about recover it, I would have been able to recover those photos and videos and maybe even win that competition. Okay, enough of the regrets. On a serious note, I hope you don't face these problems, but if you do, a recovery software is a must have. It's a lifesaver for all the content creators, photographers, videographers out there. And I'm not saying just because this video is being sponsored by Wondershare. I actually believe this is a must have software and everyone should use it in case you face such a scenario. Hope this video was helpful. And if you like it, you know the drill, right? Like the video, subscribe to the channel. We are very short of 1 million. One more resolution of 2023 is to hit 1 million subscribers. Share this video with your photographer, videographer friends. Even they might find it helpful. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.